Yo what's up guys Max here helping you guys level up your game and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to win more early game fights and how to generally survive during the early game more often. This video will be focused more on the arena mode and scrim type games um, however the stuff I do share with you in this video will also relate to pubs really well and yeah without further ado let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you absolutely need to win more early game fights is an early land. And surprisingly, I've just done a video covering how to land earlier than everybody else. So make sure you guys go and check that out. The video will be in the cards right now. And after that, come back to this video. Um, but once you know how to land properly, and I'm sure most of you probably know how to actually, you know, um, get the best possible land. Um, what you need to focus on is finding a gun straight away. A problem that I know a lot of people struggle with is not finding a gun in the early game and just dying and you know blaming RNG and whatnot for it. However, you have the control of where you drop and I think a lot of people forget that because you need to actually find like the best possible position like you know the best possible house maybe in the area you're landing in and if you do land there often enough you are gonna find sufficient loot to actually you know last you um, for the early game at least maybe even into um, the mid game and you know end game sometimes you know if you find a weapon of a rarity that is good enough such as you know purple or gold a few good examples of good houses in terms of you know landing spots are the blue house in salty um, the dog house in pleasant and finally the back house in um, lucky landing and those three have absolutely an insane amount of loot um, for a start of course we do have um, I think it is three chest spawns in the salty blue house and then another three um, it, wait no actually there's four that's that's even better four in dog house in pleasant and I don't, I'm not I'm not entirely sure on the lucky landing one however from what I've heard that house is absolutely amazing so if you're looking for an arena spot to you know drop at that is a good house to you know actually go to but anyways moving into the next step this one kind of links in with what I've just said but you need to get used to the house you're actually landing in um, and you need to you know like slowly with time you will find out uh, what is good to break for materials you know to, to get some quick mats in the early game which is obviously pretty important because you're gonna need to build to protect yourself as well as that you will find the best possible looting route within that house and you will get cool like you know you'll get better loot quicker than others of course and a thing that you guys probably have missed which you know I haven't yet mentioned but um, the the reason these houses are so good is not only because of the loot they provide but also because they are on the outer edge of the town and that is absolutely amazing it's perfect because you are never gonna get sandwiched if you don't know what sandwiched means, it pretty much means um, you're going to be stuck in between two players that are, you know, trying to fight you. And most of the time you're going to die if you don't know how to play those situations out. The next step is something that I see a lot of people miss out on and it is pushing when you have a weapon advantage. So let's say you find maybe a blue pump straight away off of floor spawn in blue house and, you know, somebody else landed in... Um, bungalow right next to you you don't know what loot they have however it is very likely that they do not have a blue pump like you do and if they didn't find shield at this point you're pretty much gonna hit them once and get a free kill and a lot of people miss out on free kills just like that in the early game i've seen it myself guys trust me um you know I'm not gonna say who it is but a lot of my friends do this <laughs> and that's not the right thing you should focus on like getting rid of as many people as you can in the early game because that is the stage when rng kicks in and a lot of like the better players that may be around you you can kill very easily if you get a weapon advantage and if you you know land in the best possible positions like i told you to you definitely will do that just to summarize though as soon as you get a good weapon 
just rush your opponents as soon as you can uh, because the more time you give them the more time they're gonna have to loot up and you know the more likely they are to find shield and whatnot and like just generally better weapons so you know keep that in mind the next thing i'm going to be focusing on today is disengaging and you guys should learn how to actually disengage effectively in the early game because you know if you get weak you need to disengage especially in arena and scrim games if you don't want to die um it is it's, it's never really easy um to disengage in fortnite ever but the early game is where i think you can you know uh do it the easiest out of you know the end game and um the mid game um and the reason for that is there's going to be a lot of players in your landing spot and that means you know the those players will be out to get you and they're going to focus on your opponent if you stay hidden another possible reason of your constant deaths in the early game and you know um a tip how you can actually prevent it from happening is improving your aim i know that a lot of people actually rely on building um and you know that's a viable strategy in the mid and end game um however your aim needs to be perfect in the early game you cannot afford to miss shots because you know there's such a limited amount of shield um in the early game most of the time because you know you're not always going to get shield you'll probably get bandages and nades and whatnot out of your chest since instead of minis um so make sure you guys hit your shots and um how you can do that is through multiple practice so firstly of course you do have your aim courses and whatnot um i've done a video on how to improve your aim before as well so you might want to check that out um actually i have a full playlist called how to improve your accuracy once again uh hashtag shameless plug but once again i can't stress this enough you need to actually have decent enough aim to be able to kill someone in the early game because you're not gonna have shield or builds most of the time and you know uh, if you do it's gonna be pretty limited so you know you have to use that stuff wisely so yeah make sure you practice your aim um, as i've said i've got a playlist on it and you know that should definitely help you out and finally getting into the last tip of the video guys this one is crucial and it is probably gonna be something that you guys don't really expect me to say right now uh, because it will literally contradict everything i've said in this video however for real practice um you need to land in hot spots um so you know um tilted and whatnot pleasant paradise salty a lot of those are really populated especially if the bus goes over them and they are the first drop and that's going to help you improve your game sense when it comes to early game and not only that but you'll also improve your accuracy um and you'll just know where people land and generally have an idea of you know what side to rush first and whatnot so you know you guys should definitely take that tip on board and go and hot drop for you know at least i'd say at least like 30 games that is a decent amount of games to actually um give you enough practice to see how you can actually survive the early game and yeah with that being said I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on to never miss another upload. Once again, just a quick reminder, if you guys want to support me in, you know, in Fortnite for free, just use my code MaxGamer7, capital M and capital G. Doesn't cost you anything and it does, you know help me out and it just motivates me to make more videos for you guys anyways if you do actually do that make sure you drop a comment saying that and maybe even hit me up on instagram at max.gamer7 uh with a video of you buying something with you know the code um in the item store and i'll give you a shout out in one of my youtube videos and on my instagram page so you know you don't want to miss that <laughs> but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed and i am out peace